we had a reception. And I was, by the way, I'm looking for a job. I'm not looking for another internship. I've done enough internships. And, and we had a reception, and it was like for the students of color to get internships. So I was like the student leader and of this organization, and no one was talking to this woman who drove from Omaha, Nebraska to Iowa. And so I kind of felt like this duty to talk to her because everyone was talking to all the sexy internship places. So I go, I was like, hey, what do you do? She's like, oh, we do government internships in DC. I'm like, yeah. He's like, have you done internships? I was like, I've done two. Well, one and a half, because the other one closed down while I was there. It was like, she was like, uh, what, do, what do you want to do? I was like, entertainment. She said, you know, we had someone at BET once. I said, what? BET? Because <laughs> it's Iowa. We didn't have an urban station in Iowa. We watched, we wanted to watch uh, Puff or Jay or whoever, or Biggie at the time, because this is uh, the, the back then. We had to watch BET. And I was like, BET? And she was like, yeah. And she was like, this is the contact at your com campus. And I filled out all that. And it happened. Yeah, so that's how, it, it literally, I was just being nice. So how long did it take nice. you to get your first job? Once you interned at BET, so how long did you intern? I interned in the news department. And I, was, I had a very good relationship with my supervisor, Chris Hart in Melville. Eric Park was also in the news department. And do you guys know, uh, you watch the Today Show? You know the lady, she's um, like a little lighter skin than me. Um, Chanel Jones, you know, there's like Al Roker, and then there's like two, Chanel Jones, right? Yep. She was also an intern with us. No way. I kid you not. She, she lives here in New York now. And, and uh, so we were all interns in the news department. Me and Eric told Chris, we're like, yo, we're not interested in the news. Like, we're doing Tavis Smiley and Lead Story and all that stuff. We're interested in the music department at BET. So on Fridays, she used to let me go work, uh, volunteer in the music department. So it was a dude named Dave Hawley got accepted to law school and this lady, Tia Smith, has shown me how to do everything. Like, you know what I mean? She was like, like the, the, the grunt work, you know? Like data entry, carrying the tapes to the music video library, all that stuff, right? And when he got accepted to law school because he was on the waiting list, they had an opening. And I just happened to be finished with school. And so they offered me a freelance position and I, it was $18,000 a year. And Greg Diggs, who was the music director, said, yeah, we have this, it doesn't pay much. It's like 18, blah, blah, blah. I'll take it. <laughs> and then he, then he upped it to 20,000. Because he, so, he felt sorry for me. Like, I took it so fast. He's like, well, think. And I took it. And, and that was basically my, my first paid job. And I was just happy to be there. I lived in the hood in DC until I could get out of the hood. And you know what I mean? That's yeah. such a great story, Tuma, because people don't realize the grind that it takes, not just to get to the top, but to get in. Yeah. Just get your foot in the door. And it's worse now. And the now. patience, and the doing whatever it takes, the beg, borrowing, stealing that it takes. You know, I took five internships. Wow. And on my fifth, I got my first paying job. Wow. It was more than you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Made no, $23,000 no. a year, but. Yeah, but that's New York, though. New York three. is more expensive than DC. But the point of the matter is, <laughs> sometimes it takes that long to just get your foot in the door. But if you're passionate about something, stick with it. Yeah. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.